Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here coming at you with another networking video. Now today I'm going to be doing a video on DDWRT, how to set it up. Now sorry for the noise, we are obviously in the home server room. And uh, as many of you have advised, I have stopped using the bigger servers or the older servers. Let me just get down to there. If you can see, uh, right now the DL380G4 is the one that I'll be showing you. Uh, the only reason I have it on is it has Windows 7 and... Uh, I really need network on all my other computers so I just decided to boot this up just for this video. Um, as I have said before, I have decided uh, with all your statements to go for the R710, uh, the Dell R710. Um, even though a lot of the people I talk to say go for the DL380 G6, but uh, I think the R710 is a good choice or possibly the X3650 by IBM, but R710 or R610, whichever one of those two I get. Um, seem like a pretty good choice, but I think R710 because I can jack it up with RAM. But anyway, that's the noise, the the noisy HP server down there. Um, the Dell isn't running, obviously, just the two uh, R200s until I get my new servers coming in, uh, but that might be a while. So uh, let me just come back up here. Now before I get into this video, uh, let me just quick uh, kind of move closer again. Um, I will be doing this tutorial on this uh, Dell, or not this, sorry, talking about servers, it's Netgear uh, router, it is a N600, um, a W, a, let's see, what, which one is this, let me just quick check what it says on this router, it is a WNDR3400V2, um, pretty good router, um, I uh, am using it for this tutorial because I actually got a Nighthawk just because of it. Um, or not a Nighthawk. It's a it's a nice router. I forgot what it is. It's one of the nicer Dell ones. I'm not quite sure what it is, um, but uh, it's a nice gigabit router. Um, and this router still is nice. So I mean, if you guys, if one of you really wants this, I could sell it or trade it or whatever. Um, if you guys really, one of you really wants this already flashed with DDWRT. Um, but let's get right into it. Um, let me just move closer so I can show you this full panel. Now, for this, this is the first time you'll boot up your DDWRT. I resetted it because I'm not using it um, currently. So um, I'm gonna just put admin for all the stuff. This is not currently my router, so it really doesn't matter. Um, my router. This is not even connected to the internet right now. Um, so that's the first time uh, you turn it on. Type in your three, your username and password for the router. As you can see, this is the Netgear WNDR 3400V2. You didn't see before. Um, as you can see, I'm not connected to the internet. Um, it's a nice software because it's got uptime, um, load averages, and all that good stuff. Um, and it shows all these different things. So I'm gonna show you how this will benefit you. Now, if you don't know about DDWRT and how it benefits you, uh, it does in a couple ways. Um, when you go to the wireless tab here, let me just do my admin, admin. Oh, sorry. Admin, admin. Um, as you can see, um, you can select the different modes. So you can use this as a repeater, a wireless bridge, a client bridge, an ad hoc. A lot of things, but I'll just put on AP right now. You name your network, and as this is the big uh, thing right here, uh, right here, channels. Now, uh, as you know, you can turn this up for more signal range. I think that's how it works. I'm not quite sure. I haven't done much with this. I kind of kept it stock. Um, but you can change all the widths and all the you know things that Netgear would never let you do on their routers. Uh, but um, anyway, the SSID broadcast is enabled. Um, and we got all these different settings. And we do have a 5 gigahertz network that you can use if your router supports it. Um, Obviously, you need the physical hardware in the router. You can't just, you know, make it. Um, but anyway, we're going to go to, uh, you can see the radius tab. I um, mean, you, you can enable some of this stuff um, in wireless security. But I'm going to be showing you the big things that people love about DDWRT. Um, so if we go to services, um, we got DCHP client, obviously. Um, you can add or remove static leases, which is a static IP. So you have an internal say I want um, I don't know let's see what oh sorry <laughs> I'm stupid 
Uh, let's see him do. Um, this is on my uh, G4, like I said. Now we are getting an internal IP of 115. Um, and then um, let me just go here. You can add, and then we put the MAC address right here, what we want to name it. And then we put 192.168, or whatever your IP is. Uh, it, by, by default, uses the Google 8.8.8.8 uh, uh, DCHP server, um, something like that. A 115, and you just add it and leave the minutes blank for forever, or you can time it differently. Um, we also have some shell, because uh, this is a Linux-based thing. Um, but this is the big tab right here, uh, PPPoE server, a VPN. Now this is a big thing for this. Um, I have a, you know, obviously a Freenet or not, free, a PFSense box. Well, not a box, a VM. Uh, so I have all these options to me. But if you want an open VPN, which you VPN to your network and control your home network, or you wouldn't want to use DDWRT at work. But if it's a small business, I guess it's probably acceptable. Now this router has a USB, so you can enable it to use your USB. If you see on the back of my uh, router here, I have a, it's not very well lit, but there's a USB 3 right there. So you could use this router technically as a NAS. Um, as you can see, if you enable this, then you go to NAS, um, you can enable some of this. I'm not quite sure what some of this stuff is. Uh, I get what that is, but I do not know an ad supported uh, hotspot. Unless it's one of those like logins, I'm I'm thinking it would be a login, but you can correct me. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking uh, if you try to log into this, it'll add ads and you'll make money from people joining your hotspot. Uh, oh yes, yes, that's what it is. It's like a accept my agreement and there's ads on that page. Okay, I get it. Um, Security, we have a SPI firewall built in, which is a very good firewall, better than De or not De Della, Nutgear's uh, built in firewall. Um, we can limit SSH access, all these great things, all these great security based things. If you, if you only have a router and you really cannot make PFSense, I actually did use DDWRT on this one for a, a while. Um, access policy how many times uh, a client can access all those great things website blocking so you don't want uh, you know people watching whatever um, if you get my drift uh, NAT uh, is port forwarding pretty simple another nice thing about DDWRT is it's universal so whether you have this router or any other router running a flash DDWRT firmware um, it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> you can watch tutorials on how to set up things. There's more documentation on this than probably Netgear is built in. Um, I'll just bring you through the tabs. Triggering. Uh, DMZ or de Demilitarized Zone. I never have used this. I know there's a use for this. Um, all ports accessible, you know. Um, Let's go to uh, administration. Now we got our router username, password, confirm. Web access. So if you want to be able to access this, uh, no, that's remote access right here. Um, you can uh, cron jobs, which is, I never noticed that. That's a really nice feature. So say you want your router to shut down, I'm pretty sure it would be like whatever, if this is a based off of Ubuntu. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to show you, but uh, if you look up cron jobs, you can have your router shut down at a specific time. Um, say, for whatever reason, you don't want your Wi-Fi router running all night, uh, you can do a cron job to uh, shut that off. Um, just some more, you know, you got IPv6. Um, if you have a nicer router than this, you can have uh, overclocking. And uh, we got GUI styles, we got a bunch of different GUI styles, but I just keep it at elegant. Um, now, scheduled reboots, you can do that. Uh, it does help if you have a router that's up for like two years straight, and that's a pretty big thing. Uh, command shell, wake on LAN. Um, you can do a wake on LAN for this uh, 
you know, HP uh, factory defaults. Uh, you can restore it if you hit yes. That's what I did earlier. Actually, I did a hard 3030 reset. Wish I would have known about that. Firmware upgrade, uh, you can upgrade, but uh, I have the latest version for this router. Uh, status, and then we got all the status. We got the chipset. Um, we got a bunch of memory. Shows all memory and uh, all that great stuff. So I know this was a pretty basic tutorial, just showing you uh, how to set up basically uh, your router. Um, basically, it's pretty much automatic, but it's just kind of an overview setup. I don't know what you exactly would call it. Um, you know, you got your dynamic DNS. But all you need to do to set it up is pretty simple. Go to wireless, rename it. Um, this, rename it. Then go, you go to your wireless security. You choose your security. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Peace out.